Hello and welcome to the fake news the bunker of the West Africa Broadcast and Media Academy Wabma. Wabma is a professional media training institute and a finishing school for aspiring and current media practitioners offering short and long-term certificate courses at the basic, intermediate and advanced levels. First up, do INIC officials insist on thumbprint before issuing PVC? A message has been circulating on WhatsApp suggesting that independent National Electoral Commission officials are insisting that people thumbprint before they are issued their permanent voters' cards, PVCs. This claim is false. Here is what we know. In verifying the claim, fact-checkers at Daily Trust visited the INEC official website to check for any possible update but found no such information. Further investigation led this paper to speak with the National Commissioner and Chairman of the Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye. He noted that those circulating the messages were fifth columnists and purveyors of fake news as there was no such development from the Commission. He stressed that the message did not emanate from the Commission. Conclusion Based on the available information, we can confirm that the message in circulation is false and intended to mislead. Next, did a video show Governor Wike leading a campaign rally for Peter Obi? The claim is false. Video shows Governor Wike leading a campaign rally for Peter Obi in Port Harcourt. The footage now circulating on WhatsApp shows Obi and Wike walking amid a large crowd with the campaign song of LP playing in the background. The clip shows the Labour Party's logo with a voiceover saying, My people see Wike leading rally in Port Harcourt for Obi. Can you beat this? See Wike raising his walking stick. Here are the facts. Findings show that the claim is false. The viral video was traced to the TikTok post made on Thursday, November 17, 2022. The same day Peter Obi and his running mate, Dati Baba Ahmed, visited Port Harcourt to commission a project for the River State Governor, Nyesom Wike, who is a member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Wike had, in November, invited Obi to the state capital for the commissioning of the ninth flyover by his administration. Footage of the arrival at the event's venue uploaded on YouTube by TVC News Nigeria shows people with PDP flags at the venue of the project inauguration. Conclusion The claim that the video shows Governor Wike of the PDP leading a campaign rally for Peter Obi of the Labour Party is false as the footage shows the moment Wike received Obi and his running mate for the commissioning of a flyover project in Port Harcourt. Do you have a story? Tag us on socials at Wabma Online or share with us on WhatsApp at 0902-547-8072 and we will fact check for you. Is Mr. Kwankwaso repaying all the debts he accumulated as Kano State Governor in 2015? The claim is false. Mr. Kwankwaso said he was repaying all the debts he accumulated at the time he was leaving as Kano State Governor in 2015. The claim is false. Here are the reasons. According to publicly accessible debt management office records, in 2011, when Mr. Kwankwaso returned as Kano State Governor, the state's debt stock amounted to 59,777,994,000 external and 5.8 billion naira domestic. He left office on May 29, 2015, and in the DMO record as of 30 June 2015, Kano's external debt stock was 59,796,931,000 dollars. For domestic debt stock, the record as of 31st December 2014, five months before Mr. Kwankwaso left office, says Kano was owing $31,423,625,015,000 naira. And as of 31st December 2015, after he left office, 
65 trillion 7 billion 329 million 454,000. Conclusion. The official records therefore show that Mr. Kwankoso left debts as he exited the office. Two days after he left office on 31st May 2015, his successor and then ally, Abdullah Higanduje, confirmed Mr. Kwankoso left the state in debt. So the claim is false. Remember to fact check anything before you share it. Don't engage. Don't amplify. Do you have a story? Tag us on socials at Wabba Online and share with us on WhatsApp at 0902-547-8072 and we will fact check for you. Join Wabma in debunking fake stories. Share this content with your contacts. My name is Adeze Ultra Favora.